Welcome to BTech guys. We're looked after by Direct Mobiles. They have over 24 years of award winning customer service and it's a place where you can compare all the best deals for all the latest handsets. Check down in the video description below for their link or search directmobiles.co.uk. Right, so I've got some more for you on the Huawei situation today. A few days ago we had some very disturbing reports from China that Foxconn, who assemble smartphones for quite a few different manufacturers, have stopped making some of their production lines for Huawei devices. The China Morning Post reported that this is due to the blacklisting of Huawei by the American government and the removal of supply lines by American companies involved in key components for the devices. This news spread quickly and it was widely reported to the point where Huawei had to step in and have flat out denied it. According to an official company spokesperson, Huawei refutes these claims. They say our global production levels are normal with no noticeable adjustments in either direction. But the China Morning Post does claim that their sources are people who are close to the matter. Confused? Well, me too. When the ban was first announced, Huawei did say that they have been stockpiling parts for months and have enough to keep them in production well into 2020. Which isn't really that long, really, but demand for Huawei products has fallen around the world since the ban. And if you think of all the 5G enabled handsets that were destined for the UK, that now will not go and sell, and we don't know if they ever will, then it kind of stands to reason that Huawei probably would be slowing down production. TSMC, or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, who are one of the big chipset makers, have said in their annual general meeting that Huawei have cut orders, and it's likely because of flagging desire for premium smartphones and a higher inventory. So in a way that is kind of confirming both that A, they have cut orders, but a higher inventory, does that mean that they have been stockpiling parts? With the US piling on the pressure for the UK to ban Huawei equipment in much the same way that they have, the US recently said that they would cease sharing intelligence information with the UK if they was not to ban Huawei. And with Brexiteers in the UK tending to support Trump and the next Prime Minister of the country likely to be a Brexiteer, right now as it stands, I would be surprised if the UK did not ban Huawei. But how that potential ban takes shape is anybody's guess right now. It is supposed to be just the telecoms equipment that's at risk from not being rolled out in the UK but there is still big question marks about the phone business and mainly because UK carriers don't want to be stuck with a phone that can't run Android and won't be supported by updates. If the UK does leave the European Union and does a deal with the US, then there's no reason to believe that they won't accept all of their demands. The British government should have made a decision by now on whether or not they will ban the use of Huawei 5G equipment. But the comments about intelligent sharing has postponed that decision until next month. Recently, the boss of Huawei, Ron Junfei, gave an in-depth interview with American news network Bloomberg. He was asked all the tough questions that we all want answered. And while he still mentions his affections for the US, he does seem defiant to the pressure he's under. Although I do think that he does show some frustration too. What do you guys think? This is obviously a man who's under immense stress and pressure. Although he does seem very cool. His daughter is under house arrest in Canada. And as a man who has built up his company from one workshop, to the telecoms giant that it is today, he must feel immense pride in his achievements and must feel that all this is at risk. The US has never bought products from us, so how can they negotiate with us? Even if the US wants to buy our products in the future, I may not sell to them. There's no need for a negotiation. I will ignore Trump, then with whom can he negotiate? If he calls me, I may not answer, but he doesn't even have my number. I see his tweets and I think it's laughable because they're self-contradictory. Uh, President Trump has described Huawei as a dangerous company. He said, and I'm quoting, from a security standpoint and from a military standpoint, this is a dangerous company. How do you respond to that? 5G is not 5G is not the atomic bomb. 5G is just a tool to transmit information. The content transmitted has nothing to do with the transmission tool. It's just like a microphone. You can't say a microphone is a dangerous tool because it can transmit voices, but the content of the voice, the person who speaks into the microphone, could be dangerous. How come the tool is considered dangerous? While we posted this video on their YouTube channel, Check the link in the video description if you want to see it in full. At the moment, I'm very worried for Huawei's future in the UK. They've built up quite a following and fan base here over the last year or so. And it's just depressing to think that in the UK we might miss out on handsets like the upcoming folding 5G enabled Matex. I'm sure it won't be long before we find out whether or not this is really happening. But I think that any company or organisation in Huawei's shoes would be in this sort of damage limitation mode and would probably be saying that production is normal. 
even if it wasn't. We'll have more on this story as it develops. Thanks for watching. My name's David, and this is BTEC.